Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create dashboard Airtable in 2024. Airtable dashboards provide a powerful way to visualize your data and track performance, helping you stay organized and informed. So, I'll walk you through the steps to set up your first dashboard using charts, graphs, and other useful tools. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply Let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open it, go to the Seattle section. All you need to do is just type Airtable.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of Airtable. If you have an account, make sure to click on sign in to sign in into your account. Of course, you can sign in using Google or Apple ID and even create an account if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in. You have even this option with continue with a single sign on. If you want to use Airtable just once, as an example, and never use it anymore, so it's up to you. For me, I'll just go here and sign in with my Google account. So, as an example, I click on sign in with Google, choose my first account in here. And as you can see, I should be logged in right away. I will not accept anything because, as I said before, I already have an account. So to create a dashboard, first of all, you would like to have a workspace. If you don't have one yet, simply go to this list panel and click on plus. Then you'll have to name it and you'll have your workspace. For me, as an example, I already have my workspace, which is this one. But for you, if you click on this plus button, as you can see, you'll find your new workspace. And of course, you can name it to whatever you want. So for me, I'll just go as an example and delete this. And yeah. So, as we said, once you create your workspace, you will need to create a base, first of all. So, those normally the bases, if you don't know what a base is. Of course, you have four options to create a base, as you can see. You can either start from scratch and create a base of nothing. As you can see, everything is empty. Or, as an example, you can create a base. Or, or as an example, you can upload something from another base or from another tool. From another place as an example you can upload this from a cz file from microsoft excel from a lot of things in here if you didn't find what you want you can always just go here and click on submit a request it'll take you to another page all you need to do in there is simply choose or uh, tell them what uh, as an example where or where you would like uh, to import data from choose the one that you want in here if you didn't find what you want you can simply just select other and specify it Anything else that you'd like to share, enter it. This is not mandatory to enter. So it's up to you. Then click on submit. Once you did that, they will definitely add it if, it's, if they seem or if it seems like uh, many people want it. So you'll have to be patient if you want to import from another uh, like place. You can start either with templates. As you can see here, they have multiple templates. So I'll just go here and click on see all, all templates. And I'll show you like all the templates that they have. So they have templates for each category. So they have templates for project management or marketing. So they have product templates. They have uh, sales and CRM templates, a lot of templates. If I keep scrolling down in here, as you can see, I'll find load more categories, the same as example. So they have a lot, as you can see. So you can choose whatever suits you. And lastly, you can create a base starting from AI. So if you go and click on that option, as you can see, you can create your base from AI. So just go as an example, and tell them about your work. So I work at a specific organization, at this industry type, and I built app for these audiences. If you want to answer it, which will help you, or will help AI customize uh, the base that you want to create even more. If you don't want to answer it, just go and click on skip, and simply tell them the base that you want to create. It's up to you. As an example, maybe you want to create a database. So you can just type here, create a database, and then click on next. And you will have to be patient a little bit until AI creates your base. You will see the preview of your base right here. So if you want to use it, you'll be able just to go and click on next and start using it without any problems. Very simple, right? And you can even customize it. So add your own stuff, remove some stuff from it that's added by AI if you didn't want it, and a lot of other stuff. So this is basically a unique template for you. So for example, it's create something here for me. I can just go and remove the queries. I can add transactions maybe or backup. I can remove relationships and uh, I don't know, permissions as well. And you can even add your own. It's a name and it will be added. As you can see, you can see all the previews here. 
once you make your changes click on preview and you'll see the previews again here so for me i'm not going to that so as we said we would like to create a dashboard and air table so how can we do that basically with the interface uh, editor we'll need to go and click on the plus sign so we'll just go first of all and access base i'll just go and access this one and as you can see we are now in here so with this interface as you can see opened you can simply click on the plus button on the left side of the screen to add a new interface or page which is this one as example here you can import like a table you can add a table as example you can start from scratch uh, you can choose our table base uh, a lot of resources that we've seen before as example and so as you can see this plus uh, we'll just add basically a table and we don't want a table right so just go basically to the bottom here and you'll find add the projects an example if you want to and add this add more if you go and click on add more as you can see you'll find here views automations and if you keep scrolling down you'll find like add a table data and interface you'll find the dashboard in here so basically from here you can add the dashboard as you can see high level view of your data using summaries and charts so go and click on that and as you can see design a simpler way to work it's a customer interface that gives the right people the right information with interface designer so basically in here as you can see you can choose a use case start with templates build around common use cases power it with data and uh, basically uh, select the table you want to pull data from and customize and share bring your data to life with visual elements and share with your team click on next and basically now you'll have to choose a layout for your dashboard it's up to you to uh, do so so I'm just here to show you how to create a dashboard and I'll, of course I'll just do here something random but for you do whatever suits you of course just we'll need the dashboard so I'll choose a dashboard in here you can also view how it's gonna look on the mobile as well so keep click on the next uh, you'll have to connect it to a table as example maybe project table maybe task table and etc click on finish and as you can see your dashboard will be created without any problems now you can publish it and you should be good to go but that's gonna be it for me today thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video so goodbye